The Queensland Government continues to face criticism for how it passed controversial reforms to youth justice this week. Reporter Michael Rennie joins us now from Brisbane. Michael, talk us through this. We did have the Queensland Premier on the program yesterday uh, and there's been movement since then. The opposition are still very unhappy about how it all took place. Yeah, that's right. But it's not only uh, people in government, it's also youth uh, justice groups, uh, human rights groups, uh, really uh, upset with these law changes, these amendments that were rushed through uh, Queensland Parliament yesterday. And uh, it's really what it means is that uh, young people, children, can be held in watch houses and adult jails for long periods uh, of time. And, and what uh, is, well, some of the criticism coming the government's way is actually coming from uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the drawing criticism from the Human Rights Commissioner, who's saying that uh, it's, uh, well, it damages Queensland's standing as a government that values uh, human rights. So these amendments, uh, they've uh, also bypassed uh, the committee system that's uh, set up to, to scrutinise this type of legislation. So that really has drawn criticism from the LNP, from the Greens, and also the Cata Party. Take a listen. The moment that this government trashed the way this parliament operates and in the process it trashed the last remaining shred of their integrity credibility. The amendments that they've moved at the 11th hour will mean that children as young as 10 can effectively be detained indefinitely in adult watch houses and in adult prisons. We're insulted by the way this has all been presented by parliament. So, uh, Lisa, we've also heard from the Black People's Union uh, that, that they've said that uh, these sorts of issues are better addressed in other ways by community-led programs, by addressing poverty and intergenerational trauma, and there's no funding for any of those, and that would be a better way of actually trying to address this at its, at its root cause. Look, I've also spoken to police this morning who say that this is a really... Uh, this, the, the youth crime problem in Queensland involves a small number of, of youth, of re-offenders that continue to re-offend. We've heard that numerous times from police. But there is an issue around there being um, places in detention centres, space in detention centres. Uh, but in, in some instances, uh, police believe that um, magistrates aren't sending some of these uh, hardcore re-offenders uh, to detention centres. So very complicated issue, uh, no easy answers.